guys welcome back to my channel please help support this channel by liking this video as it helps a lot and it's free right and don't forget to subscribe to my channel i appreciate the support now let's talk about diddy because it's been a while since i've done a video on him so a judge just slapped diddy with a 100 million dollar default judgment this inmate, his name is Derek Lee Cordello Smith. He claimed in his lawsuit that he DRUG'd him and sexually assaulted him at a party in Detroit back in 1997. According to the lawsuit, the two were drinking and smoking weed at the party and got naked with a bunch of women. Cardello Smith says he was performing oral sex on a woman when he felt a male hand on his left buttock. He says it was Diddy's hand. A short time later, he says Diddy offered him a drink, which was spiked and he passed out. Hours later, Cardello Smith claims he woke up and saw Diddy having SEX with a woman and Diddy allegedly said to him, I did this to you too. Oh, wow. Cardello Smith sued for $100 million, but according to legal docs, it appears Diddy did not file an answer to the complaint. A hearing for a default judgment was set for Monday, but no sign of Diddy. So the judge gave Cardello Smith what he wanted, $100 million. The judge also set out a payment schedule, installment payments of $10 million per month, starting October 1st. $10 million a month? Wow. So in 10 months, this guy will be $100 million richer? Okay. Now, Diddy's attorney issued a statement saying, This man, Cardello Smith, is a convicted felon and sexual predator who has been sentenced on 14 counts of sexual assault and kidnapping over the last 26 years. His resume now includes committing a fraud on the court from prison as Mr. Combs has never heard of him, let alone been served with any lawsuit. Mr. Combs look forward to having this judgment swiftly dismissed. Wow. Now we have men in prison suing Diddy too. So let me see if I understand this. So this guy was partying with Diddy in 1997. And they both got naked. And they were having SEX with other women. And Diddy touched his buttocks. His left buttock. <laughs> The left one. Why not the right one? What's wrong with the right buttock? Why not both of them? So, okay. So, Diddy touched his left buttock. And then, a short time later, he said Diddy offered him a drink, which was spiked, and he passed out. Hours later, he woke up and saw Diddy having SEX with a woman, and Diddy said, I did this to you, too. Wow. What? I did this to you too. A real man would have knocked Diddy out right there. Because when Diddy put his hand on his left buttock, he didn't mention that he shook Diddy off. He, you know, he just said a short time later, Diddy offered him a drink. First of all, a straight man would not be naked with, with other men. A straight man would not be down with orgies. A straight man would not... Be naked with other men. It doesn't matter if there's women there or not. This, okay. So, let's, let's go back to Diddy's hand being on his left buttock. So, he didn't slap Diddy's hand. He didn't stop what he's doing and said, what are you doing? What are you doing? But instead, a short time later, he took a drink from Diddy and he passed out. And Diddy said, I did this to you too. I did this to you too, son. <laughs> what? And he didn't knock Diddy out right there. He did not knock Diddy out right there. I don't know. I don't know about this lawsuit. This sounds kind of fishy, right? What if this lawsuit is bogus? The fact that Diddy did not file 
an answer to the lawsuit? That's the only reason why this guy received this judgment? Hmm. What if did he put this guy up to it? Yeah. He got this guy in prison right, that he knows. And he, yeah, because why would you not have your lawyer, that's his job, to file an answer? Right? So, mm, so the guy won by default because did he, his lawyer did not file an answer to the lawsuit. I don't know, but that sounds suspicious. I bet did he put this guy up to it and have a big judgment like this $100 million and then because he know he's going to have it overturned, right? And then so he could come out and say, see, see, people are lying on me. And look, I just won this. I just proved that he's lying. So people could doubt the others. Or if more people coming out, people will start having doubts, right? Because of this foolish, bogus one. You never know. If this is fake, then I really feel like Diddy's behind it. Did he put this guy up to it? Because this whole, I was having SEX with women and I felt Diddy's hand on my left buttock. And then later he gave me a drink. I passed out. And Diddy said, I did this to you too when I woke up. Sounds, I don't know. It could have happened. But I don't know. It could have happened. Let's just say it's real. Diddy's lawyer is saying, Oh, this guy is a criminal. You know, he, he was sentenced on 14 counts of sexual assault and kidnapping over the last 26 years. Well, Diddy is a criminal. Diddy kidnap people. Diddy sexually assaulted people, men and women. So it doesn't mean that because this guy is a criminal that he's lying. It doesn't mean that he's lying. His life probably spiraled out of control after that incident that happened with him and Diddy in 1997. That would make anyone, I mean, a man being sexually assaulted, all worded, and he woke up not knowing, and then he's told, I did this to you too, and you don't remember anything because he spiked your drink. Yeah, that could, yeah, that would make anyone spiral out of control if they don't get help, if they don't, you know, if they're not mentally strong. So this guy being a criminal now could be the result of what happened with him and Diddy. And Diddy's a criminal himself. Criminals take advantage of criminals too. Criminals assault other criminals too. So this guy could be telling the truth. And also it could be a bogus lawsuit that Diddy is behind. So he could say, look, 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 see, they lied on me, so everyone is lying on me, you know? You never know. We'll see. But check this out. Last week, federal prosecutors from the Southern District of New York got a subpoena requiring the fancy Miami hotel to cough up documents and other evidence related to Diddy. Diddy and 50 Cent's baby mama, Daphne Joy, are both named in the subpoena. The subpoena calls for the hotel to hand over reservation records involving Diddy, Daphne, and other associates of the Bad Boy Entertainment CEO. The subpoena specifies the period from January 1st, 2008 to the present, asking for check-in and check-out dates, room numbers, guest preferences, and requests, and billing information, including room service. Federal prosecutors are also requested email and mailing addresses and phone numbers, along with forms of payment, such as cash and credit cards. Prosecutors further ask for computer IP addresses and logins for the individuals, as well as copies of their identifications and vehicle information. What's more, the feds required about surveillance footage at the hotel. Wow, this is big. This is a lot that they are looking for. This is big. So if Diddy's not locked up soon, then you know the powers that be. It's stopping it. 
because Diddy has a lot of tapes on them. These nasty, soulless demons. Diddy has a lot of tapes on these people. So he's not gonna go down alone. I know they're working hard behind the scenes. I know these devils are working hard behind the scenes, pulling strings, trying to stop these things from happening. But let me tell you, it's going to happen. It doesn't matter. All the blackmailing that you guys do, it is going to happen. So pull strings, send emails, send message in a bottle. It doesn't matter. It will happen. All of you guys will be exposed one by one one okay so that's all i have you guys what are your thoughts on this entire situation comment below thank you for tuning in please like please subscribe and i will see you on my next one peace